What's up, you guys? Saku Fox Art here. Welcome back to the Fox Den. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day because we are getting back into Grotto. Uh, and uh, last time we left off, the village got split in two and it was separated. So now we got to see if we can try to maybe get it back together or, you know, where our choices lead us. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. All right, my man, where are you? Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, nice to see you again. We ended the episode on you last time, my man. Greetings, soothsayer. I speak in the name of the good for nothing, as I air new first do-gooder. Oh, okay. So you're from the good for nothing's camp. Hey, he's busy preparing for, for, for peace. No way. That's not a no. As you may know, chief who hunted and air followers control the wood side of the place we live in. It includes some important huts like the smith. It's only a matter of time that they're armed to the teeth and destroy us. But we won't give them the time. The good for nothing came with a come, came with a plan. We'll take them by surprise like a uh, like fire on a moonless night. Okay, both of them are trying to like surprise each other. They're just going to destroy their entire village because uh, they're going to be end up doing the same thing. There'll be a moonless night soon. We'll set hay bales from our fields on fire. They're just the same plan. And we'll throw them at their huts. They'll come out. Fire will let us see them, but they won't see us. Our arrows and spears will rain on them. And we'll take the place we live in back. Even if you turned the first hunter into the chief who hunted, you saw what A tried to do to us. So A's sure you support us now. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. You guys are both doing the same things. Like, they're both doing the same thing. They both want to destroy each other uh, in the dead of night. Which hut among the stables, the pigsty, and the smith, or the chief who hunted uh, hut must fire up first? Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick um, something that refers back to where the side that they're on. You know what I mean? Since we did that last time, maybe the neutrality between it will help without? I don't know. Let's see what old Chiefy boy says. Chiefy! What's up, my man? What do you got for me? Throw them bones, dog. This can't be. Both contenders took their fire idea from me. Their fire idea from you? What? What are you doing, Chiefy? Are you talking to other people besides me, dude? That's kind of messed up. Uh, let's see what the old fire face says. Old red face in the uh, bandy Joe here. What do you got for me? Be it red dung or red hay, the red plates will prevail. You saying that the whole thing's gonna be on fire? Ugh, I don't like that. Um, I wonder if I can find something that says like the hay fields, because that's where they are. My head is so high. Oh, that's whoops. Uh, do, 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 do. Truth of the heart somewhere and spread the seeds in our life somewhere. Okay. As its own sting pierced its back, the scorpion felt treason and the graveyard's call. The sting, though, felt free. I wonder, maybe that could be something back on themselves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, scorpion. I'm gonna try it out. I think that the scorpion might offer, well, at least my choice, it might offer the best choice for me. So, let's see. The graveyard, but that's on our side, yes. Yes, found it. I don't think the good for nothing will like this. A was wrong in believing you supported us. If I just make them hate a common enemy, you know, maybe. Were you conscious of the softness of your body? Yes, it's very soft, very fleshy. Your footsteps like caresses. Your breathing, a song. Echoing all around me. I still want to know who she is. I just don't know. Echoing. 
I mean, you know, I'm in a cave, so echoes are pretty, you know, acoustics in here are pretty good, I gotta say. You know what I mean? Okay. Sleep it off, boys. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to figure out who that is. Who's the one that keeps speaking to me through the flames? Because, I don't know. I think I chose the right answer. If I make them try to hate like a common enemy, maybe I can keep them peaceful, you know what I mean? I looked at him, an air red kerchief, bright as the setting sun, and my spirit watered. I guess that means that I'm going to talk to my friend the owl coming up. So far, anybody who's visited me in the night has been the person that I see during the day. So, let's see. Oh, it's different. It's just who she talked about is here. What's up, dude? Quick, I need to know. Ever since they split the place, place we live in in two, no one's allowed to enter the ceremonial tree island. The eye on the tree hasn't eaten for days. But there's no moon tonight. Will I die tonight when I sneak in and bring him food? Oh man, I want him to bring them food because, you know, that's, it's messed up, but I don't want him to, you know, die. Let's see, what do you got for me, Chiefy? If only you could convince him to stay home tonight. I'm not sure how I would convince him to stay home. Uh, let's see what our fortune-telling items will tell us. Is tonight the end? Together in life, together in death. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. A little brutal, if you ask me. Okay. Okay, so we need maybe to figure out if we can make him stay home. But I'm not exactly sure behind its walls it crouches. I like that. That mo that sounds like it'll work. Because that means that in the darkness, behind his, his walls, it crouches. Its walls, it crouches. So behind his walls, home, you know, maybe. I will hide in darkness. I'll crouch. Are the stars telling me to be careful? I will. Well, that's not exactly, but I mean, for you to, you know, be careful, that's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that too. If only the stars had been a bit more clear as for what will happen next. Oops. I must go now. I must select the food, get tidied up. Tonight's the night. Whatever may happen. Hey, man. You do you, my man. You do you. Let's let that fire come back. Come on, somebody visit me. Let's go. There you are. Okay. Hello. How's it going? Who are you three? <laughs> See, I told you that A was ugly. You both owe me a melon. A is not the, that ugly, so I win the melons. And A's listening, in fact. Damn. Um, hello there. We're here in representation of the peasants, of which I am first peasant. And I am the other first peasant. Oh gosh, these are like the kids. And yeah, I am yet another first peasant, in fact. We've been thinking about this whole situation, about the split place we live in, and we're going to save us. We think that both the chief who hunted and the chief uh, and the good for nothing could learn from us peasants. We think sheaving is hard, so we share it. I'm good at talking to the rest of the peasants. I'm good at understanding how crops work. I'm good at predicting the weather. We all have good ideas and weak spots, so we kind of balance each other out. So what uh, what if we convince the chief who hunted and the good for nothing to forget their old rivalship and share the achieving tasks between them? I mean, that's not a bad idea. Now, the key point with us first peasants here is that there are three of us. Or there's three of us. When two of us disagree on a certain matter, the third of the one the third one tips the scales. 
Before we try to convince the chief who hunted in the good for nothing, we must first propose them a third chief. And that person is the sole thing we've never been able to agree on. Do they tell us who should rule the people alongside with the chief who hunted and the good for nothing? Do tell us who should... I mean, honestly, I would like the teacher to do it, but I'm not exactly sure how you would do that. You know what I mean? I would have loved to have someone help me carry the burden. Someone who could have defy me. Alright, Chiefy, that wasn't exactly the greatest uh, information, but, uh, thanks. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for me, Red Face? Let's figure it out, dude. What do you got for me? Alright. We will be the third chief. And the third chief will be the one chief. Red face and the chief. You're not very helpful this time, guys. You're, you're, both of your answers were very vague, and I don't like them. Um, okay, let's, let's think about this for a second. Let's think about this for a second. I like that one because I want the teacher to be the, the one they pick, but this is the only thing in there I believe that's about teaching, so let's go with that. Here you go, guys. I'll teach you. You mean the teacher? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. See, just what I told you. You owe me three melons each. Darn. Um, thanks. Your advice will help us save the people and make it one again. There is a moonless night tonight. People tend to get mad during moonless nights. In fact, it's probably not a good idea to talk to the chief who hunted and the good-for-nothing tonight. But tomorrow we'll tell them our idea and the star's choice. And the people will be divided no more. I like you guys' uh, optimism. I dig it. I'm dig it. And we'll be safe. I hope so, guys. I hope so. I'm trying my best to give you guys the right options. But the choices that are picked, I have no control over. Oh, hey, you again. I'll find the heart of the mountain that hides inside one of its zillion caves, and it will grant me plenty of wishes. Yeah, I was wondering when I would run into the mole person again. Uh, just because I, I sent them off or whatnot, but we'll see what is done, or who it is. I mean, the person that showed up when I thought it was going to be a certain person wasn't. Ha! What's up? Ugh. Ugh. My back. What are you doing here? Do you have a pick? Okay, no pick. That's good. That's so very good. For a moment here, I thought that you... Wait, I know you. We talked when you lived in this other cave that... This is the same cave, my man. Or no, is this the same cave? It is the same cave, my man. Uh, ugh. That's bad. That's so very bad. There are so many caves. It's impossible to keep track. This way, I'll never find the heart of the mountain. And I really need to find it. You told me you didn't believe that it exists, nor that it'll grant wishes to him who finds it. Have you changed your mind about it? No, that's not the question. The, so That's so not the question. The important thing is, will I find the cave where the heart of the mountain hides and touch it? I mean, it's possible, my man. It's, you know, it, it is always possible that you will find what you're looking for. Uh, but personally, I don't know. I think that maybe the fire is the heart of the cave, heart of the mountain or whatever, but... I'm not sure. Hey, it won't find our cave, but we'll find yours soon. Redface weirds me out sometimes. Redface always has very vague answers. And, uh, you know, some of the answers you were like, oh, that's good. That's pro progress, progress. 
But then the other answers are just like vague or very like, oh, they're gonna die. <laughs> Chiefy, what do you got for me, dude? You failed when you try to talk to the miner out, out of their nonsense. Try better now or it'll kill him. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help them. I, last time I tried to convince them to go on, but they didn't. So let's look around a little bit. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? When their beaks emerge empty from the barren earth, the bird plunges blue, plunges the blue in search of the new harvest fields. I'm going to pick the bird because it, it starts off that their hands are going to be empty. They're not going to get anything. Uh, and then it says to set their sights on something else, kind of. At least that's how I'm interpreting what the bird says. So we'll try it. I guess they're two birds. Birds are hope. It means I'll find the heart of the mountain. Ugh, no. Uh, uh. Thanks for reassuring me. That is totally not what I thought was going to be going. If only the people in the place we lived in would be like you. But they won't even listen. They're too busy fighting each other. My pick is happy, thanks to you. We won't rest till we find the heart of the mountain. No matter the cost. Well, you know, man, I tried to not have you kill yourself, but it is what it is. Uh, Chief, what's up, my man? How's it going, dude? You're missing one of your horns. You look a little roughed up as well. I don't like that. You okay, my man? You're looking rough. Ugh. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it there uh, today, and we will find out what happened to the Chief and why he looks so fucked up right now. But uh, appreciate you guys coming down to the Fox Den. As always, there is a link for this game down in the description to blow, so you can make choices for yourself if you want to. Check it out and see what you think. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys coming down. Uh, as always, stay foxy. I love you guys, and take it easy. I'll see you on the next one.